On this episode of Readya, we'll dive into how you can retrieve ADS-B aircraft signals using Dragon OS and SDR Angel. Before we dive right in, let's establish some fundamentals. Firstly, what exactly is ADS-B? ADS-B, otherwise known as Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, is a radar surveillance technology mandated by the FAA that allows aircraft to broadcast their identification information such as their airspeed, altitude, and various other telemetry factors. All this data is made publicly accessible and can be accessed by tuning into the 1090 MHz frequency using a software-defined radio and an antenna. For our operating system, we will be using Dragon OS, which is a comprehensive Linux distribution made for hackers who specialize in radio frequency hacking and signals intelligence. Dragon OS provides an assortment of radio frequency analysis tools including SDR Angel, which we will be using today. SDR Angel provides the functionality necessary to receive, demodulate, and decode ADSB signals transmitted on the 1090 MHz frequency band. Once you have VirtualBox open, you can create a new instance by clicking the new button up here and type in a name you want. I'll just put Dragon OS. And this will be the folder that holds your virtual machine. You can select any folder you want. I already have a folder that's pre-configured. And under type, you're gonna click Linux and version, scroll down to Ubuntu 64-bit. Click next. You can set a memory allocation here. I'll just put in an arbitrary amount, next. And then click create virtual hard disk now. VDI, dynamically allocated, and then you could set the amount of disk space. This takes up, 10 gigabits is fine, and then click create. Once you have your VirtualBox image initiated, you can configure the settings by right-clicking here and clicking settings. You can also click the settings button up here. In this settings menu, you can configure the different system configurations, like how much base memory you want to allocate, processor, settings, and so forth. One thing we do need to set up in order to get Dragon OS up and running is configure our ISO. To do that, go to storage, and right here you can see that this is empty. So we need to put in our ISO, so you can click this button and select choose slash create a virtual optical disk and you can add and then I have my ISO right here so I'm gonna click that open I have that selected choose and now we have our ISO configured now we can start our image to do that click on this green arrow and this will open up a little pop-up menu and then once you're in this, you can click enter. And now your virtual box is loading up. If you have everything set up properly, you should be presented with this desktop menu of Dragon OS, and you can expand it here. And everything should be ready to go. Now we're going to be opening up SDR Angel. To do so, click on this little ham hummingbird icon Go under ham radio, and near the bottom you should see SDR Angel, and that will open up the application. Once you have SDR Angel up and running, you need to initialize a new workspace. To do so, go to workspaces and click new. Once you have a new workspace, we are going to configure ADSB. so click on preferences, configurations, and you can select ADSB in this drop down menu. This will let us receive and configure our system to handle ADSB packets and then click this little icon to the right. Once you have that configured, this should pop up a little map with ADSB data logs and you should have your RTL STR device selected. If you don't have it selected, you can select a device by clicking on this antenna icon and selecting your RTL SDR from this list. And under the settings, just make sure this is around like 2400 or about 3000. And then in order to start getting signals, click on the play icon. And now if you view the spectrum, we should start 
getting a frequency around 1090. And now if you go to the de demodulator, you should start to see ADSB messages popping up. You can also inspect for other aircraft signals by clicking on the specific airplane itself. And you can gather relevant information about the airplane. In this case, it shows the ICAL identifier, which is the international identifier of the plane. It's ground speed. Things like true airspeed are included in ADSB message as well. Selected altitude, heading, azimuth, and a picture of the aircraft. And there you have it. In this episode, we covered the basics of retrieving ADSB aircraft signals using Dragon OS and SDR Angel. If you want to follow along with the demonstration yourself, we included a list of links in the description to all the resources we used in the tutorial. Thanks for watching.